Hello everyone, now welcome to Oracle FX training by Uno Geeks. In today's session, we'll see how to create our first FX application from files. Okay, so our first thing that you need to do is sign into your workspace. And as soon as you sign in, you see that under App Builder, we do have an option to create an application. And when you click on create, uh, you see again, three options. Option to create an application, export or import it. We'll see how this works uh, in, in one of the uh, future sessions. This will basically help you to migrate applications from one, one workspace to another. And as if you hit the create button, uh, yes, it will take you to create an application page and you can create an application using any of these options. You can create an application making use of a wizard. You can create an application from a file. And again, uh, it, it, it doesn't just support Excel file. It would also support CSV, XML, or JSON file. We can, uh, you can even uh, copy paste the data onto the, onto the editor as well. And we also have an option to create an application from quick SQL. Okay, so you can, you can write a SQL, uh, you can write a quick SQL and create an application out of it. And we'll see how this works in quite detail in a different session. And uh, you can also look at the application, starter applications given by uh, Oracle FX in gallery, and you can install one of them, or you can make a copy of an existing one. We'll see how each one of these works uh, in the coming session. So uh, we would be focusing on option two in this session. We would create an application from a file and we'll focus on how to create an application from an Excel spreadsheet first. So I've got some uh, employee data in an Excel spreadsheet like this one. I'm going to open this up and, and show it to you. So I've got a simple header in an Excel and I've got a sample employee data here. Now, what makes Apex uh, quite famous is, uh, yes, you can convert spreadsheets into applications in, uh, in less than a minute. So now let's say you've got uh, plenty of data in spreadsheets and you're sharing them across the team members and you're uh, doing those changes um, or, or sharing the information, uh, if it's happening mostly in the form of spreadsheets in your company, it's time to get Apex. So uh, let's say I have employee data here and uh, all I have to do is just upload this data into Apex, into Apex uh, workspace. And as soon as I do that, uh, we would get a confirmation that yes, employees have loaded. And we do have an option to create an application right within this. And the moment you create an application, Apex has a has an intelligent built-in mechanism to parse the data and also propose a few pages which make sense to your application. So I've got employees data in the in the Excel that I uploaded. And uh, when, I do, when we reach this stage now, uh, you would notice that Apex is proposing that Prasad, you have a homepage and on the homepage, you display these options. You have a employee search base. So these are, so what are, whatever options that you're seeing here, faceted search, interactive report, calendar, these are all the various Apex components that you can build in an application. So uh, yes, after you upload an Excel, uh, the SQL uh, table, would, table would be created in the backend database and data would be inserted into it. And when you create an application by default, these pages would be added to the application. If you, if you don't like them, or if you want to take them off, you can click on the menu option here and you can take them off. And uh, the moment you hit the create button, you would be able to see all of these applications, all of these pages adding, getting added to the application. And you do have an option to launch the application. And the moment you launch the application, this is exactly how it's going to look like. Yes, on the landing page, you would be able to see a quick search option. You can report on the employee data and you do. You can, you can also display a calendar as well. And this would be helpful when you, when you want to probably display the holidays to the employees. Now let's see this in action. So I'm, I'm going to go back, uh, log in back into the application. Yes, I've uh, come into this. Um, I'm in my workspace and uh, from App Builder, I'm going to create, click on create application. And I'm going to create an application from a file and we'll see how to do it uh, with the help of an Excel data first. Then we'll see CSV and JSON as well, just to give you different, uh, just to uh, show you how you can handle different file formats. So I click on create an application from file and it's prompting me to upload a, upload a data file. Now I've got data, uh, employees data in three different formats here. So we'll see how to create applications using this as a base. So I would pick up Excel spreadsheet first. 
So all we are trying to do was create a spreadsheet, sorry, convert a spreadsheet into an Apex application. So I've got a sample header row and I've got employee data rows here and I just have around 10 rows. Now uh, I, I just have to import this. So I need to click on choose file. Let me go to that particular screen. Yeah. Loading that Excel sheet. And the moment you, you load in that Excel sheet, uh, it would prompt you to enter in which table do you want this uh, data to be stored. Uh, you can also load the data into an existing table if you want, or you can create a new table. I would say create employees table. And I would say XLS, because I'm going to load the employees from two other different file formats as well, and I don't want to uh, uh, hit a blocker there. So I would say employees underscore XLS. And uh, you can you you also need to have a primary key on a table, right? So you can use a system generated identifier, or you can say identity column. If you say identity identity column, what would happen, guys? So these are all the uh, fields that you have in a file. Along with these fields, there would be one ID column also that gets added to this particular table, and that would act like a primary key. And by default, when you upload a sample file, uh, Apex understands or considers the first row as a header. And yes, uh, that is exactly matching with what we have in the file. Okay, so we do have a header row, and yes, uh, that's what Oracle Epics expects it to be. So first line has headers. So the first line is treated as a header, and uh, the remaining data is uh, showing up here. And by default, uh, in preview, you only get to see six columns and five rows. If you have more than that, you need to click on preview. That would give you a complete picture of how it's going to look like. So that shows you the complete data. Okay, remember the start date was not visible earlier and we were able to see able to see only five rows. When you click on preview, you get to see the complete data. And you can also click on configure here to decide uh, to configure the columns into, into what columns the data is going to get loaded. So first of all, uh, this table, a table is going to get created with this name in the backend database. And in that table, these are the DB columns that are going to get created. And where did Apex pick, picked up these uh, field names from? It has picked it up from the first row in the Excel sheet. And remember, if you have uh, if you have a name with spaces, it would be replaced with underscore. And you could also see that there is a data type proposed for them. And Apex reads the first data row, and it would also propose what data type is more appropriate for it. Okay, and you can click on close. So, and if I go ahead and click on load data. That's going to load that spreadsheet. First, first of all, it's going to create the table with the columns and it's going to load the data into that spreadsheet. And you could see a confirmation that employees XLS table is created. And I can also go ahead and click on create application. I can, I can watch the table. I can view the table uh, that has been created here. If I want, I can look at the data imported and all that. And I can also create an application directly from here. Okay. And uh, when you click on create application, and you can, uh, it's proposing a name. So I'm going to say employees, I would say Excel application, employee from Excel application. Uh, I would say employee app created from Excel sheet. And uh, we can also control how this application look and feel should be. Uh, if you click on this, first of all, uh, you can pick and choose a theme Talker so Vita is a default thing that would be applied. And if you like Redwood, you can pick and choose that. And uh, whatever is the navigation items that are going to get added to your application, they would be displayed as a side menu. So if you want to see the navigation items at the top, you select top menu. If you want to have a mega menu, you can select that option where you get to see icons, navigation icons in a pretty big theme. So I would stick to side menu, but uh, theme-wise, um, um, I like Redwood in particular, so I select that Redwood theme, and I click on Save Changes. So that would control the look and feel of your application. You can change this uh, later on as well. And uh, what Apex has done here is, it, it has analyzed the data that I've uploaded through the spreadsheet, and it is proposing some sample pages, which makes sense for, a, for an employee's application. You can also add additional pages if you want. You can also add additional pages if you want. If you click on add page, you can go ahead and choose 
additional pages and add them if you want here. So this is one option that we have. And apart from this, apart from, uh, yes, you can add additional pages if you want. And uh, in another session, we'll see how to add these pages or create them from scratch. You could see that Oracle has already created these pages for us, but we'll see how to create an application from scratch and add these different pages to an application in a different session. So I've got all these pages added and if I don't like any of them, I can edit them or I can take it off. And I'm going to hit create application and that would create an application from a spreadsheet in less than two minutes time. And in the application, you would have a home page, you would have a search page, you would have a report and all that. You could see that there's an application created and this is application name and there's an application identifier for it. And we do have an option to run the application. And these are the pages that we have. These are the pages that we have in the application added to the application already. And we do have option to add additional pages if you want. So let's quickly run the application and see how it's going to look like. And of course, when you try to log in, when you try to access an application, you would have to authenticate yourself, enter the login credentials and click on sign in. And the moment I click on that, um, the moment I sign in, what's the data that we are seeing here? We see a dashboard, we see a home page, first of all. We see a home page. And on the, within the home page, we see that there's a dashboard. And within the dashboard, you have graphs displaying the data, employee data, you have employees displayed by job, country, salary, and so on. You can you 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 can edit these graphs and make them look the way you want it. You can change the data or you can take off the graph completely. You can, it's, it's all in your hands. Okay, it's just that, uh, it's just that Oracle is creating a, a application out of the box and you are free to make whatever changes you want. And I do have an employee search option and when I click on it, it opens up a faceted search page. So which means I can search for employees based on various criteria that you see here. I can search for employees based on job, country, salary, and I can use any combination of them. So if I want to search for managers who are based out of US, so I just say managers US, and I want uh, to find if there's anybody who's paid more than 3,500, I could see that there's one, and I can clear all. So faceted search page would give you an option to search for employees using a multiple search criteria. I can go back to the application, I do have an option to run a report here. And this is an interactive report, which means, yes, you see the employee data showing up here. And I do have an option to search for employee directly by putting in the name here. Okay, I can enter the details and it would automatically search for it. And we do have an option to edit the employees as well. So I, click, I can click on edit button and I can say, see, I can edit the employee details. If I put in few additional ones, you would see the data getting updated as well. And we also have uh, we also have some user defined function that you have an option to download the data and share it across. You can also define a graph and and a lot of other stuff is. We do have a create option as well. So if you want to quickly add a couple of employees, you can do it directly from here. So you can enter the details, and after you enter the details, you can hit the create button, and that would create an employee. Let's create a new one. I'm going to add him as a dev Apex developer. And I would say country is US, uh, salary 5,000. And I would pick up a start date as today, create an employee. And you could see that uh, employee John is created. Please do remember guys here, at uh, the moment you uh, hit a create button, employee is getting created successfully, uh, immediately rather. But if required, you can also enable approvals in the back end. And when you submit a request, you can send this request for an approval, uh, for an approval in FX. And only after the approver approves it, we can go ahead and create an employee as well. That is also possible. And if you go back to the employee homepage, we do have a calendar view here. So you can go ahead and uh, look at the calendar view. And here you get to see which employees have been hired at what date. So you could see here on today, John is hired. And if you scroll back, if you keep scrolling back, I think I was, yeah, you can, if you look at the dates, so most of the employees are hired in, yeah, they're hired in different dates. If you go to 2005, you should be able to find Chris. Okay, so if you're going to, 
กันแล้วเนาะเดี๋ยวเอาเป็นคุยส o ยูแคนอ่าส่วนนี้สวยยูแคนอ่าถ้าถ้าคุณแค่ไปกลับไปไม่ได้เราไม่มีทางเลือกที่จะพัฒนาการเรียนรู้ของเราได้เราสามารถกลับไปในเวลาหนึ่งเดือนได้ส่วนถ้าคุณไปที่อื่นๆคุณสามารถเห็นว่าพวกเรา employees ได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้ในขณะนี้พวกเราทำงานที่นี่ด้วยการแสดงให้เห็นว่าพวกเราได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้แต่คุณสามารถเปลี่ยนสีและแสดงให้เห็นว่าพวกเราได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้และคุณสามารถเปลี่ยนสีและแสดงให้เห็นว่าพวกเราได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้และคุณสามารถเปลี่ยนสีและแสดงให้เห็นว่าพวกเราได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้และคุณสามารถเปลี่ยนสีและแสดงให้เห็นว่าพวกเราได้ถูกแต่งงานในช่วงนี้และคุณสามารถ And uh, not just a plain, uh, not just a plain application. We do have a, a application with ample capabilities and at a dashboard. And you have a search option, you have a report with edit and create options, and so on. And uh, you would, you do have an option to sign up from here. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you see that uh, you see seeing this quick toolbar, which gives you an option to edit the application or page, uh, and so on. Uh, this option, you you are seeing this option because you are logged in as a developer. Okay, so if you if you try to log into the application as an end user, you wouldn't see this toolbar. Okay, so this is uh, how easy it is to create an application, uh, Apex application from a spreadsheet. Guys. So we'll uh, try to build another application in Apex, but this time instead of a spreadsheet, uh, we will be using a CSV sheet in the next session. Thank you.